Hey guys, Matt McLeod here with PGC Basketball. Today I want to introduce you to one of my favorite snack treats. It's the chocolate chip ball. You know, I used to be the kind of person that always after dinner, late at night, man, my sweet tooth got the best of me. I've had a big bowl of ice cream with phenomenal toppings on top. I mean, mm, tastes so good, but it didn't serve my body very well. And I realized I had to make better life choices. And so these chocolate chip balls are a great substitute. Right? It's, a, it's more of a healthy dessert option. If you're a, a high training athlete, or if you're someone who wants to take care of your body better, I would say, hey, subs, take out some of the ice cream, right? take out some of the processed sugars, put the chocolate chip balls in their place. I think they'd be a great substitute. They taste great, and again, they'll serve your body better. Now, when you're making chocolate chip balls, here are the ingredients that you need. We're gonna start out with our oats. Oh, it's a great, great source of antioxidants, great source of fiber. Um, today, I've got a quick one minute oat. There are also steel cut oats. It really doesn't matter what type of oats you use. They all have the same health benefits that you want. After we've got our oats, we need to have our nuts. I love going with cashews. You could use peanuts. I've tried almonds before. They don't work quite as well. Um, I found on cashews to be really the, the best tasting, and I believe they serve my body really, really well. Uh, you may not know this, cashews, Great, great source of vitamins when it comes to vitamin E, vitamin K, and vitamin B6. So great on heart health benefits, vitamins, cashews are the way to go. Um, also, we're gonna have some vanilla extract, a little bit of that for taste as we go through our recipe. Oh man, ooh, game changer right here, the coconut oil. If you don't have coconut oil in your life, if you're not putting it in your body on a daily basis, I would recommend you to do so. Um, you can read up on all of the health benefits of coconut oil. Some of that I think are most important, especially as an athlete, would be the mental uh, part. It actually will fight mental fatigue. It's also great for bone density. Uh, the list goes on and on for coconut oil. Now, the important thing with the coconut oil is we want it to be in a liquid state like I have it right now. Uh, this bottle earlier today was, was actually hardened. It's been cold outside lately. So I just stuck it in the microwave for 60 seconds, got it to a liquid state. We'll need it in a liquid state as we use it for our chocolate chip balls. Um, also, honey, right? Honey in this recipe will take the place of sugar. Um, honey's not processed, it's natural. Again, I could go on and on about honey. We actually like to use this in our house instead of sugar. We're taking out sugar completely. Last thing, for your chocolate chip balls, you'll need the chocolate chips. Can't have chocolate chip balls without chocolate chips. Now, what we like and what I would recommend is to find a chocolate chip that is actually a dark chocolate. We use at least a 60% dark chocolate. Again, less sugar, still has a sweet taste. Overall, much, much better for your body. Now, once you have all those ingredients together, you can begin to actually make your chocolate chip balls. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna have one cup of oats and one cup of cashews. Now, for each of those cups, you wanna make sure that you blend them well. Blend them down really fine. Now, I've already blended ours. I mean, you see I've got my oats right here. You do wanna blend them separately. Uh, blend a couple of oats. Uh, then after the oats are blended, you'll go ahead and get your mixing bowl out. We're gonna put our oats right there into the mixing bowl. Um, after you've used the blender for your oats, then you will want to blend one cup of cashews. So I've got my one cup of cashews right here. Oh, phenomenal, looking so good. After I have the oats and the cashews in the bowl, the next thing is the vanilla extract. Um, in the vanilla extract, we're gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. All right, got that pre-measured ready to go into our mixture. Now that I've got those three things, next we're gonna move on to the coconut oil. I've got four tablespoons of coconut oil. Once I got those four tablespoons, go ahead and add that to our mix. Oh, it's looking so good. Hmm. Now, got all that. Next, we need honey. Um, I've got six tablespoons of honey right here. Honey is, uh, the reason we have more parts honey than anything else is it really allows it to clump together to mix it well when we want to actually make the balls out of our concoction. So there we have it all there. Now, once I've got all these ingredients together, I want to begin to mix them. Get a mixing fork right here. Oh man, it looks so good. Then we begin to mix it and you'll see it begin to harden together. All right, we got everything here in our bowl. Again, you want to add chocolate chips. We have one quarter cup of chocolate chips that we're adding into the rest of our ingredients. Mix these in together really, really well that really good consistency with the chocolate chips. Once everything's mixed, then we're actually going to make the balls and put them in the freezer. So I've got a melon scoop that I'm going to use. Uh, when you use that scoop, it's just really important to push uh, the, the concoction kind of there together against the side of the bowl. That way you get a flat bottom base. When you put it onto the, onto the plate, 
It helps it sit a little better. Uh, sometimes we'll put them in the freezer on plates. You can also use a cookie tray. Maybe you have your team coming over, uh, making chocolate chip balls for a party, you need to make more of them. Cookie sheets work really well for that too. But then we just continue to make these balls. They'll come out, again, looking pretty well. They're not solid, so they're not gonna sit perfectly. But again, just really important to push against the side of your mixing bowl to get a flat bottom. That's the most important part then as it comes out. Uh, again, once we fill the plate, we'll put them in the freezer. We'll check them after 45 minutes, see how they're doing. Sometimes they may need up to an hour. It's finding the balance between them being served cold and hard versus frozen. Um, frozen ones are hard to bite into, you don't want that. But again, if you check after 45 minutes, typically they're ready. Sometimes they may take up to an hour. There we go. We'll get one more ball onto our plate. Go. Now we've got our plate filled. We'll save the rest of these for later. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get these into the freezer and we'll check them after 45 minutes. Mm. Oh man, they're looking so good. So we've got our chocolate chip balls. They've been in the freezer for about 45 minutes now. Oh yeah, nice and cold but not frozen. Let's, let's do a little taste test. Oh mm. man, so good. Again, great dessert option for you. Mom said never talk with my mouth full. Mm. Great dessert option. Lots of health benefits, the antioxidants, the vitamins, the bone health, things that we'll have. If we just go out and, and eat lots of ice cream and other desserts, high sugar content, lots of processed foods that don't serve our body well, but when we use our chocolate chip balls, man, great taste, great way to serve our body. Win, win, win. Now, I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear how this this recipe has served you. If you try out something new, maybe you try out raisins instead of chocolate chips, whatever it is, uh, either reach out in the comments here on our, our YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments of this video what you thought. You can, again, always subscribe to us here at PGC Basketball on YouTube. Also, hit me up on social media, at Coach McLeod. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the chocolate chip balls. Did you like them? Did you not like them? What have you done to even make them better? Or maybe you have an idea for me, what else can I do? What are some other great healthy options to have that dessert? We want dessert, we want it to be healthy. Let me know what you have. Again, love the time spent with you guys today. Hope you enjoy the chocolate chip balls. We'll see you later.